Man, if I ain't had one heck of a time trying to record this episode. Every time I turn around, something's going on. Right now, what we got going on is this field has been planted, or not planted, but it has been dissed or plowed. It has been fertilized, limed, and cultivated. All we got to do is send these drills through. Now, since this is a slightly odd-shaped size field, I'll have to wait for the, uh, the tractor to make a complete trip up and trip back before I can send the other one. All this while hoping my dog will leave me alone for more than five minutes at a time. I kind of doubt it. Uh, interesting driving position there buddy now if you remember the last uh, episode I was trying to set up course play in order to you know sell bales and uh collect bells and all that and well to be honest i didn't know what i was doing well i got it figured out so i th i'm thinking very serious about just doing uh your regular everyday bales straw bales collecting them and just transporting them I think that could be pretty cool. And besides that, I can get a couple of John Deere balers pretty cheap. Granted, they're just square balers, and I won't. Wait a minute. I wonder if that will wrap the bales too. Ooh, that would be epic. I mean, I don't know if it would work or not. I'm kind of itching to find out now. Okay, so in this course play thing, which is not going to show up right now, but under the bail situation, I think you can actually set it to go in and wrap the bales. If that's true, could you imagine how cool it would be to have like three or four tractors going through there and just grabbing bales and wrapping them? I mean... I think that'd be pretty dang cool. I might actually have been able to send both of them at the same time, but because I don't know how that second tractor would have reacted to the first tractor, I didn't want to. I'm pretty sure the second tractor would have just double backed on itself. So go get this going man I, I wish I had more time now I really want to try this uh, bell wrapping cuz I, I just think that'd be kind of cool I don't know maybe I'm a nerd we're not gonna be able to do it with this because it's straw but it could be pretty cool If they miss each other, then we'll know we're in business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, it looks like this guy's going to do the, uh, the weird double back at the end. That's fine. Before we completely run out of money, I do want to go ahead and see about getting a couple of combines. So, let's just go ahead and look into the prices, shall we? Um, well, that's not going to happen. Well, I feel like we already got a lot of John Deere stuff. I could go with this guy. I think that'll do. Is there a rear hitch? Yep. Now I can afford two headers before I completely run out of cash. I don't know if it'll actually take that header or not. I think it'll take that. I'm gonna hope for it. Just barely, but... Who knows, after we sell off the silage that we're selling currently, maybe I can get a third one. And that would be ideal. I don't know, I feel like I didn't set the distance right or something. I 
Eh, maybe I did. We'll let these guys go for a bit. So one of the jobs I had to do today is I need to move all this uh, cow feed, mish, whatever you want to call it. Need to get it all moved over here. Um, just because we have more storage space over here. And I want to get this one completely full of everything we need for the cattle. That way, when I want to transport food or whatever to the cattle, I can have one course place set up. So I'll basically pick it up, take it over there, and dump it. Eventually, I want to have, you know, a silo set up over there, too, so I can just set the course play up to go back and forth to that silo, from the farm silo to this silo, from this silo to that silo, until everything is full. I don't know why I want to fill everything up. I just do. But that is 5 million liters of cow feed that we've produced so far. I'm not even sure how that's possible, but whatever. I've completely emptied the mixer. And I'm going to go back over here. And get anything else that might be left in this silo. I'm not gonna worry about the mixer for now. I'm just gonna let it go. Mix up some more. Okay. Ain't that much left in there. These guys are still dumping every bit that they can. And I have enough to fill both these up yet again. So we're doing really well. That should yield us another seven hundred thousand, I think. So heck yeah. Now what else do we gotta do? Other than straightening up the barnyard or the yards and getting the machinery put away and whatnot, I don't think there's a whole lot more that we actually have to do. But that's good. But that 700,000, I don't know. I'm just going to look at some property real quick. Because if we do get quite a bit of property, eventually I do want to. Wow, that's two million as well. Jeez, that's three hundred ten. That's four twenty one. How much is this? Wow. Okay. Not looking very likely that we're going to be buying anything. Hmm. I could slowly start picking up these guys down here. I mean, the smartest one to pick up right now would be that. Just because of its proximity. Man, it'd be nice to get that. 2.5 million. Oof. I think it's doable. We got a ways to go. How's this truck doing filling up?
Alrighty. I guess I could go over here and top off whatever he's got. Oh, he got a little more than I thought he did. 90,000? That shouldn't take too long. Well, that's it. It shouldn't take too long. But going back over the finances and going back over the property values out here. Well, it's definitely a time to sell. <laughs> Not so much a time to buy. <clears throat> However, with that said, we do still have silage that we can sell off. So, I don't know. I don't know if we want to risk selling off too much silage. But at the same time, I think we got enough forage that we should be alright. I mean, we still got to feed them silage as well and this and that. Hmm. Either way, I don't think we need to worry about silage anymore. So we might as well sell whatever we can. Let's just see how much silage is over here. A lot. We'll load them up. Check our tractors out. The only flaw in this entire plan of running silage up there is how I'm doing it. It takes quite a while. No. I mean, I guess it's not horrible. It's just a little time consuming. That was one heck of a sharp turn he made there. At least I don't think they're going to run into each other. Should be able to finish off this field relatively easy get the silage moved over I don't want to move at all only want to move about 300,000 or yeah about 300,000 liters is all I want to really move And again, we can just move it all. It'll be alright. Actually, for that matter, we don't need to move it at all. 
and just bring those tractors over here to load. So we'll get this guy put away. I don't foresee us bringing any silage into these pits for a while. I'm going to go ahead and top these guys off. Now I do this in a, a bit of an unorthodox manner, I admit, but it works. What I do is I bring one guy out. Well, that takes forever. Then we'll go ahead and start building him a silage. And then we'll get the other guy. Would you look at that? We just killed two stones with a bird. Alright, back to these guys. Looks like everything is looking pretty good so far. How many dang headlines did I do? All right. We'll check back in a little bit, I guess. Now, unfortunately, these augers do empty out faster than they load, so it's going to take a while to get that other auger wagon loaded, but at least I can show you basically my uh, setup here. Now, in hindsight, I kind of wished I would have just did a ramp on both sides. But as you can see over there, it gets really close together. And I wanted to be able to get back here to digestate. So, this is the setup I went with. Just pull up, let dump. If I was emptying out bunkers, I could just empty them right into this R wagon. Um, and they could slowly like drop it into there while the, lo the front loaders are loading it, whatever. And, well, it'd be a pretty good system, I think. It'd work as a buffer. You wouldn't have to worry about it too much. I could theoretically pull another auger wagon next to this. But that would require me to lease two more auger wagons. Hmm. 
Decisions, decisions. Yeah, how much is in this thing? Oh, I might have to do that. <laughs> I might have to do that. So I did a thing. <clears throat> I went ahead and leased a couple tractors, a couple of auger wagons. And I know our bank account looks very, well, bleak. However, when midnight rolls around, that's going to look pretty fantastic. Now, let's see if I can get this up here without dropping my ice cream cone. <laughs> Uh, all right. Come on. All right, now this is it for silage. This is we we don't have any more silage to sell than what's on the platforms now. So once all that is sold, there's gonna be no more midnight income. So we need very much to have our farm producing pretty well. Oh, look at there. That planter is done. And the other one's right behind them. Well, how about that? Well, there you have it. All I got to do now is put this stuff away. And our job is done. We don't have to do anything else. Except wait for the money to roll in. And wait for these crops to grow, of course. Um, I'm still hoping that we make enough money off of uh, the silage. That I can buy a third harvester and header. Because doing this with just two is going to take a really long time. Maybe I get, maybe I can buy two more. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, I don't know. Maybe something to look forward to. Until next time, y'all. Happy farming.